Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be letting you know how we can make use of simple linear regression in R, right? So in my previous video, I've explained uh, uh, what's what's the like, concept of data pre-processing. It will be used in this video as well. So in case you haven't watched that video, I just want you to please watch that so that it will be easy for you to understand the initial steps of this today's practical. So first of all, before we jump into the practical, let's discuss about the simple linear regression. What is this all about? Uh, so it is used to estimate uh, the relationship between two variables. So you can uh, use linear regression when you want to know the two things. First, how strong the relationship is between the two variables, right? Uh, now, uh, in my in my today's uh, practical, uh, I'm going to use the data set in which I'm having salary and years of experience. So in this case, I want to find the relationship between these two, right? So second point is the value of dependent variable at a certain value of independent variable. So before we start this practical, I also want to discuss about the what's the meaning of independent, what's the meaning of dependent. So uh, it's a uh, independent variable is the variable that you manipulate or vary in an experimental study to explore its effects. It means you have a target value available. In, in order to achieve that target value, you can uh, like uh, you can maybe manipulate some of the uh, variables, right? Uh, through which you'll be getting that final answer. As I'm uh, already stated that I'm gonna have the salary, I'm gonna have the years of experience. So years of experience will act like an independent variable, and the salary will act like a dependent variable. So independent variable means which you can change, okay? Which you can change, like in this equation, this is the simple uh, equation of the simple linear regression. In this case, you can see y equal to b0 plus b1 x1. In this case, y is dependent variable, means which we wanna achieve. In our case is, I want to find out that whether the years of experience is affecting salary or not. So in this case, salary will be coming on the left side. On the right side, we'll be having x1, which is my independent variable, which is the years of experience. And, and b0, b1 is nothing but the y-intercept and slope coefficient respectively. So independent variable is a variable which you can uh, modify, you, which you can manipulate, right? It's called independent. Why it's called independent? Because it's not influenced by the other variables in a study. So dependent variable is a variable that changes as a result of independent variable manipulation. Let's suppose, uh, let's take another example. Let's suppose I want to fi find out, I want to maybe uh, find out uh, what's the effect of the like uh, continuous assessment, right? Midterm marks, end term marks on the final result, right? So these are my independent variables. So I want to find out whether student will pass or not. So this pass fail thing, right, which I can determine by changing the values of the continuous assessment, this uh, uh, midterm marks or end term marks. So like in this case, I'm also have taken another example. For example, if you're testing how the sunlight affecting the plant growth, the plant growth is a dependent variable and the amount of sunlight is a independent variable. So this is the little theoretical information. So in our case, we're going to use this uh, uh, like data set in which we have a years of experience and we have a salary. So we want to find out how these two are interrelated, means whether the years of experience is affecting salary or not, means if I'm, have, if I'm more experienced, whether I'll get more salary or not. This are, we want to check using the simple linear regression. So let's move to the R studio and get this thing started. So this is available in my D drive. So let's first upload this data set. So I'm gonna have this, uh, 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 I'm gonna have this data set name as data set two. And I'm gonna use a simple function that we all know read.csv and it is gonna have file equal to D drive. Okay, D drive and let me have it is information is salary underscore data salary underscore data dot csv okay and then i'm gonna have header equal to true so because it's having column names it's been loaded let's check out whether it's loaded or not data set to yes it's been loaded okay so afterwards what to do we need to do some uh, little uh, data pre-processing for this for this i'm gonna use the library uh, ca tools which i already used in my previous video so ca tools done and then i'm also need to set up the seed value in case if you haven't watched my previous video i just want you to please watch that so that you can have the information about the these things which i'm using in this video okay afterwards what to do now uh, I, I need to split the data into training and testing set 
So, split equal to uh, sample dot split ok. I am going to have data set to dollar I am going to have this in this case is salary as my dependent variable salary and my I am going to have split ratio means how I am going to split that I am going to have this split ratio equal to two third means I am going to have this uh, training set will be having 20 records and testing will, be ha will have a 10 records because I am ha having total 30 records in this data set. So, it has been split. So, let us prepare the training set. This, these steps I have already done in my previous video, right? So, uh, that is why I am saying keep on saying that please watch that. So, subset and data set 2, okay, split equal to true. So, I am just making my training and testing set here and in the same way I am going to have testing set. Training set I am going to have test set. Okay, uh, in this case I am going to have the false. Now, let us check out the informations here whether we got this or not. So, training set this is my training set right and uh, if I can check out my test set this is my test set ok it has been done properly right. Afterwards we need to fit my simple linear regression to the training set. So, how I can do it I am having a simple uh, LM function available that I am going to use. So, let us do it. So, I am going to fit my simple linear regression to the training set a regressor I am naming it as equal to lm. lm is a function and it is having you can see the from the uh, recommendation I got from our studio first is formula. Formula is my first parameter formula equal to. So, I need to first specify my dependent variable which is salary ok and then I need to use tilde sign tilde sign and then uh, what is my independent variable? It is my years experience okay now afterwards what i'm going to have i'm going to have the data so data equal to uh, training set which i'm already have made okay training set done okay it's done now let's now summarize this regressor let's now summarize this uh, regressor with the summary function and let us check out what information I am getting from here. Okay, I got this information. In this case, what is the meaning of it? Like uh, the major things uh, I am going to discuss is first this is a formula that we have applied and they have also given some uh, more uh, like you know, statistical information that what my first quartile, third quartile, median, maximum, right? And this what is this? It is a coefficient. In this case, this stars indicate some significance. Uh, this in this place in this case you can have the no star one star two star three star if there's a three star it means it's more significant it has more effect on the salary it means years of experience the independent variable is gonna have uh, it's it's very it's having a lot of uh, significance by because it's been shown the three stars if it's the uh, one star or no star it means it's having a no in, no significance so this clearly indicates that years of experience is having the much effect on my dependent variable. It is also mentioned here as well the significance of the codes, right? So, uh, this is uh, 1.5 like into 10 raised to power minus 14 it means it is having very lesser value, right? More the lesser value it means more the significance. So, we have a more as the significance of the years of experience. So, I got this from a summary function, alright? Let us move further like it means it mean we are going to the right direction here. Now, let us try to uh, predict the test set results ok. Let us now try to predict the test set results. I am going to have y pred equal to predict predict in this case uh, I am going to have regressor that I have already done afterwards new data equal to test set. Let us check out. Okay. 
let's see what information I'm getting in this. Now you can see uh, here, this is the, like how, how we can interpret this information. Just see here, the two years of experience, in this case, this uh, it's showing the 37766. Okay, let me first also print up the test set for you, then it will be more clear. The original information I'm having, uh, Vipred and Okay, it is now showing here that this is my this is the original information we are having, right? Uh, it means the original salary was four, four six two zero five. Okay, now we are getting three seven seven six six. Not that close, but second one is more close. You can see the original salary was forty three thousand five twenty five. Now we are getting what forty four thousand three twenty two. This is how we can interpret. It means like these are my predicting prediction values, right? This is what the original values, right, of a on a testing data set, right? So you can see now uh, in somewhere we are having the uh, like lesser, uh, we can say uh, difference in, in some cases we have a more difference, right? This we got from the predicting the test set result. Now last step is coming in. Let's now visualize the training set results and testing set results. For this, I'm going to use ggplot2. Okay, it's one of the powerful uh, library in the R. So let's first load that. I'm already having uh, installed. If in case you haven't installed, so please install it. ggplot2, it's important. So now let's do it. Uh, first of all, let's uh, I'm gonna use the visualize the test, uh, sorry training set results, then followed by test set results. First of all, I'm gonna use ggplot function. Okay. Plus now let's keep on adding the layers. The first is aesthetic. So first I'm gonna first define the geometry. So I'm gonna use the point, and then I'm gonna use aesthetics. In case, again, I have already have made a video on uh, ggplot2 as well. In case, if you're not familiar with the parameters of it, again, I'll be putting up the link in this video. So aesthetic AES, in this case, I need to define my labels, x-axis or y-axis. And on the x-axis, I'm going to have the training set. Okay. Then I'm going to have dollar. Okay. I'm going to have years of experience. Okay. So x-axis will, uh, will be having years of experience and y-axis will be having y equal to will be having training set salary training set dollar salary okay this i've already defined in aesthetic afterwards i'm going to have some color let's define the color also color equal to sorry col uh, it's col o u r so in this case i'm going to have defining the color here it is i'm defining at red you can also define anything as your wish Afterwards, I'm going to have uh, defined the next thing. In this case, I'm going to define the geometry again. So this is for my uh, the the curve the the uh, the line which is I'm drawing for the linear regression gm underscore line. In this case, I'm going to have aesthetic. Okay, I'm defining and then I'm going to define my x and y axis uh, x equal to training set x equal to training set dollar and then I'm gonna have years of experience and then y y axis it's gonna have prediction means based upon the salary experience based upon the years of experience independent variable what's my prediction okay so here uh, I'm gonna just copy paste the line which we done in before that so it will be predict Okay, predict then followed by uh, regressor that we already have done. Regressor and then new data equal to the training set. Right, now uh, this uh, line will be having, uh, will be in a blue in color. So let's do it. C O L O U R. This will be uh, in blue color. I'm setting. It's up to you. You can set in other, any color, blue. Okay. And then I'm gonna have now the legends. I'm going to now define the uh, GG title, the title of it, and it is now salary versus 
experience okay and this is on the training set okay and now we are just, just going to end up this plus I'm going to have X and Y labels X lab years of experience and then I'm gonna have plus I'm gonna have Y label which is nothing but the salary okay this is for training this is for training let's see if this working or not all right you can see on the left side so right side we got a plot generated and if I click on zoom you can see it properly okay this is my uh, information I got it so what's the info what's the meaning of this you can see now this uh, red dots are my training it means we got total 20 records here so that's why you can see here 20 dots available the blue line is my uh, regression line in this case what it denotes that if your uh, point if your uh, red dot is near to the line it means my prediction is pretty much close to my original reality right like 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 see in this case is this uh, red dot it's lying on the blue line it means my prediction is pretty much closer to the reality in this case this red line means it means the person with the five years of experience as per my uh, like observation it is uh, nearly uh, maybe getting the salary nearly maybe 60,000 or something right so it is little bit deviated from the original line so this is my regression line this blue line and the dots means where uh, my prediction lying right now right this is the information I'm getting from by drawing it in a ggplot2 I hope it's clear so wherever my dots are closing to this uh, blue line it means it is more uh, close to the reality it means my prediction is pretty much equivalent to the actual results this is the meaning of it right I hope it's clear so you can see uh, here it's also in very close on the, the, the last few dots are very close to my reality uh, but in between we can have because no uh, algorithm is 100% perfect right so in this case like uh, we are getting like some of the most of the uh, like dots are closing in it means my prediction is pretty much equivalent to the reality or the actual results I hope it's clear and the same thing we can do it for the uh, testing set as well so it will be almost same but just we have need to uh, change a bit so in this case uh, wherever we are having the uh, training we need to just change okay so let me do it just to save the time I'm not be uh, writing it again it's a quite a lengthy query so here I'll be I'm doing it for the testing so here first point is it will be test set okay test set okay dollar uh, years of experience afterwards it will be test salary it will be test salary right okay and then color red everything is same training training that's it that's it this is for my testing now so we have done with the with the change let's see for the testing in this case I'm gonna now change it for the uh, let me change it is for test now rest everything will be same all right let's check out its graph as well now in this case you can see I got you can see this is my test results right if I click on zoom you can see its information it's not zooming in properly all right you can see it properly now uh, it's my test results all right again it's the same interpretation the the, the dots are uh, my prediction my test uh, my prediction and the blue one is the the linear regression curve right so I hope you must have understood from this video that uh, what's the meaning of simple linear regression what are the steps involved we just started with the uh, pre-processing followed by we just have uh, divided the data into two two part training testing afterwards I just uh, apply the LM uh, function afterwards we just seen the summary of it followed by prediction predicting the test set results at the last we have just done with the visualization the training and testing set results with the ggplot2 all right so in case if something is not clear just a comment on this video thanks for watching guys see you next video